Nyama, 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 nyama. Nyama, 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 nyama. Nyama, nyama. Nyama, nyama. Nyama, nyama. Huh? Huh? Okay. That's what I meant. Nyama. Hey. Nyama, 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 nyama. Nyama, nyama, nyama. Nyama, nyama. Nyama, nyama. Nyama, nyama. Hey. So, I took 20 minutes break here. Just to rest a bit and uh, to drink some water. Ref refill the water bottle. I didn't get anything to eat. I'm not hungry yet. I had breakfast like <laughs> about two hours ago. So, uh, nothing to eat. There was no desserts. Just a uh, vegetable soup. But really nice uh, hut owners. So, I have good feedback for hut. And now, let's go to Pass Beklemetu and decide if I will proceed further to the east. I really love it when the wind is not crazy strong. <laughs> that thing yesterday was like... Bleh. I mean... I did it because I was uh, really keen and <laughs> it was on my schedule. I always had like a plan B for evacuation. To the north a few huts. I showed you Hut Benkowski and Hut Vezhen. But still not good. It was bad. Now it's so much fun. Check it out, the views. What do you think is this? This is anti-horse and cows system. So uh, Wow. Nice.
So now the first peak, this one, is named Kilikon. It's 1,676. And the next one, guess how? Baba. 1,707. Baba means grandmother again. So the official path goes to the right. You can take the path to the left, up the ridge, the winter path, if you have time and you would like. But I'll skip the extra climb because, as I said, I'll do this for the next uh, peak that is named, named Kozestena. Swarm of flies again around me. Man, it's either the wind or either the flies. Blueberries again, everything is blueberries. an important junction here you should take it on the red mark that's what it says because the yellow mark goes down to the village of uh, Hristu Danovo yeah so we gotta take the red mark
Cause Estenaya and far in the distance is the ridge uh, that Hatejo is at. So this is Yumruka and, and in the cloud far in the distance is Peak Vision and the main ridge. So that's a lost cow and that's a shepherd dog. That's the lost cow, that's the shepherd dog. Let's see how that story goes. Yeah, the dog goes there. Maybe the dog is gonna try to bring the rest of the cows over there, I don't know. Hard working dogs! The dog barked and the cow comes back? Crazy! The cow starts to climb back. <laughs> it's a good doggy! Works hard! Damn! I love it! Shepherd dogs are smart! Well, in case you go around the cows or the horses, they might become very protective. And in this case, we know already that Peter from Guitar Travels recommends a pepper spray. Poor little doggy is a very nice fella, but I need my legs safe and sound to finish the trek, so you know, I don't want to get bitten by a dog. Very rare guy. A few times, yeah. The cow goes up. We're gonna see it from over there. Oh, I don't see it. I wanna take a photo of this. It's crazy. Or a video, you know. <laughs> it's, I read somewhere in the past days that they found like prehistoric, ancient, you know pictures on the cave walls dating like some 60-70 up to 1,000 100,000 years showing people men and dogs along them so it's a long story to train them and make them work hard because probably it's just a few dogs left without a person with the cows and the horses over there and they do the whole job. I don't see the cow right now, but I'm sure they're trying to get together. I'll take a photo of Hut uh, Koziastena. Yeah, I can hear the cow. Okay, uh, the cow and the dog, they have a work relationship, so let them figure it out. Alright, I have a way to go. Winds are strong at the ridge, so... But I'm fully convinced to take the ridge at peak Kozestana. Let's see, unless it's crazy strong winds. We'll be there in 5-10 minutes. That's the ridge. And this is the Beklemeto Pass. 
this is where I want to go. Beklemetu Pass and from there I'll decide. Let's see how the winds are blowing and I'll decide there. As you can see plenty of cows here and that's why they put uh, that uh, <laughs> cow restriction system over there, uh, the little uh, mechanic uh, door, it's because uh, probably the people at Hut Kozestan don't want to have all of these cows right next to the hut, you know, all the time. Again, this is Pred Balkana and Vasilov Peak over there, the highest of this ridge. Няма, няма, няма. Well, using a pepper spray in a high wind, strong wind is not the smartest. Няма, 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 няма. But that's what I have. Няма, няма, няма. Yama! Hey! Nah, it just wants to scare me, it just wants to make me not touch the cows. I'm not gonna touch the cows anyway. He's at work, I know. He works as a bouncer, security guy. Actually, it's a nice doggy. Doesn't want anything. It's not aggressive, it's just uh, protective. I don't believe I need this. Now, from here, I want to take it up the ridge. There is another path that goes... Uh... Yeah, there is a green mark. I'm almost at the junction. There is a green mark that goes below the ridge. But I want to do this ridge. Haven't been here in probably 10 years. And I remember it's a majestic uh, ridge. There were uh, Edelweiss flowers here on top, but this is uh, this should be happening like late July, early August. So this is one of the very few places in our country where you can witness this 
mystical alpine flower it's fully protected by the laws don't touch it don't gather it don't cut it because of uh, human people you know gathering it it's pretty much almost gone now the red mark brings me down so on my GPS is a bit different and I, I'm gonna go a bit back and take it up yama yama he thinks I'm going again for the cows no doggy, no cows for me it's very steep and rocky, there is a metal rope parapet on top so it's very real very alpine and with the strong winds I'm guessing it's gonna feel even better Doggy works as a security guy. Now this pyramid peak in the clouds I don't know if you're able to see it because of the out white balance uh, this is Kupena it's on the main ridge before peak Botev let's see if we can get there t tomorrow I don't know It's amazing right and uh, actually the winds are not that strong that's kind of cool 
<laughs> the wind there is the wind is actually refreshing. It's very hot. Ah, it's June 20th. I love ridges like this with a metal rope and so on or even without we're gonna go to the most popular ridge in Bulgaria like this it's in Pirin mountain and it's named Konchto but uh, there is still some snow over there so we're gonna go later in the summer <laughs> I can hear a dog barking in front of me. I guess I'm closing by the next like huge like cottage, like something with many many cows. So that was the the 
rocky section at the ridge. I love it. With the rope and everything. A plus. And there's the peak itself. The path goes a bit below it. So this is the preserved area Kozestena. This one says the path is right below me. Yeah. Yeah. I don't want to go to the main ridge. It's plenty of wind. I'm gonna catch my wind over there. <laughs> the next peak is totally like broad. So. Winds are gonna hit strong at me. <laughs> My GPS has like some wrong path that apparently nobody's using already. I'm going a bit down. That's why these videos are helpful because you can see on my GPS track where I went down. This inner like path down there, but it's very ah over there. Let's go. I guess they changed the colors of the path, they decided to put uh, the main path, the red mark, down, not to go on the ridge behind me, so that's why uh, I got a little confused, but I, I don't regret taking this ridge, it was amazing.
Uh oh somebody lost their tag these are blueberries again now uh, this next peak over there the round one is named uh, Padaloto, Padawoto. Anyway, uh, there are two paths. One goes on top of the peak and goes beyond, and the other one goes around the peak. So I'm gonna take the one that goes around the peak because this is just one of the peaks here in. The central Balkan, it's not that high of elevation. The views are not gonna be that much different from the rest of the peaks. But still, that's gonna give me another 100 vertical meters of a climb. So no, I have a long way to go.
now get me a sip of water and I'll leave you guys watch this beauty. Uh, this is the Ark of Freedom, the monument that we were seeing all the time. The pyramid peak in the back is like Kupena, I wanna go there. Let's see if the weather is gonna give me a chance. cold winds and uh, strong winds everybody is chilling and uh, after a few minutes I'm gonna reach the pass Beclemeto and I'm gonna have a lunch break too but first nyama 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 hey So again, I mean they're not highly aggressive, but if you don't hold your ground, they might bite you. The trick with the rock always does it. If I didn't speak, you know. <laughs> Both guard dogs would be sleeping. Bah, security dogs. They are lazy. No. But they don't expect people here, you know.
another two dogs. Nyama, 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 nyama. Nyama, 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 nyama. Nyama, nyama. Nyama, nyama. Nyama, nyama. Ha? Ha? Okay. That's what I meant. Well, sometimes you gotta use it, huh? It's really good that I had it. Yeah, all of them are like ging ging ging. Ah, I don't know. So where are the shepherds, huh? Where are the shepherds, the owners of these dogs? They are not here, they always let them free. So that's why I carry a pepper spray. To be honest, this is not even a guarantee that everything is gonna be fine, but at least it's something. I don't own a gun and I don't wanna carry a gun. <laughs> the adrenaline, <laughs> adrenaline hit me. Hey, I'm not tired anymore, uh, but I need a break. Here, uh, Vasil, the hut owner at uh, uh, Hatejo, told me that there is uh, water here at the Beklemetu Pass, and I pretty much reached it. So, starting at Hut Echo, it's been 14 kilometers of a distance with uh, 600 vertical meters of a climb and 700 vertical meters of a down climb. Not bad, but I need a like lunch break. Refill the uh, water bottle and to chill out from that fight with the dogs. That was pay. Uh, so what am I supposed to do? Like leave them to bite me or something? I should be aware that my friends are over there. I mean, they're temporarily disabled. And I don't know, maybe they refresh and, you know, attack me again. No, they're not gonna leave the cows, but still. That was awful, I don't wanna do this. The water is right below my new friends, the dogs. I'm gonna refill the bottle and go back at uh, Beklemetu Pass to have lunch. I don't wanna stay here, you know, they might hear me. So I guess that's the water. Let's see.
believe that shade is my place for lunch break. Now, what a chance, huh? I'm sitting here under the shade and having lunch. I had a fight with the dogs over there. And now the dogs are here for a second round. And I'm gonna fight them again. Very friendly now. So it's one or two of the dogs that are very aggressive. The rest are kind of friendly, but still, I believe they became very friendly because I pepper sprayed them and they're like kind of crying and you know sneezing all the time. So keep in mind, always bring a pepper spray. They literally messed up my lunch break, so they came back for a second round. So that's my new place.